video's rolling. Are there any particular bits where you think? No, 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 it's just no. the ending for me. It, it's just the ending for me as well, <laughs> actually, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hey everyone, you've probably already figured out that this video is a little different from the usual stuff I post on the channel. That's because it's the very first in a series that I've been producing in collaboration with fellow YouTube pianist, the very talented Jonathan Morris. This is the Handel Improvisation Project, and the point of it is to demonstrate what a universal and timeless skill improvisation is for pianists and players of other keyboard instruments. What Jonathan and I thought we'd do is take a single song or chord progression and improvise on it in a whole bunch of different styles. If you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that I'm interested in kind of jazz and blues and rock and pop improvisation. Jonathan can play those styles too, but he's also a really, really good classical improviser. What, we wondered, would happen if we took one single piece of music and tried to work on it in all of those styles. So the starting point for the experiment had to be choosing a piece of music that we could play around with. The piece we settled on was an aria by the German-British composer Handel, George Frederick Handel, or Georg Friedrich Händel if you prefer the German version, who lived from 1685 to 1759. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, lovely piece called Ombre Mai Fou. Forgive the pronunciation if you're Italian. It's from, it's from an opera that Handel wrote called Cersei. So the first thing we need to do is give you an idea of what the original aria sounds like. It's actually really famous and you might have heard it before. It, it's sometimes just known as Handel's Largo. What we've done is prepare a score that you can download in PDF form using the link in the description field right underneath this video. And, and that link will be under every video in the series. It is worth downloading that file because as well as the score of the original aria, it's got a whole bunch of notes and adapted chord progressions that we'll be using throughout the series. Then we thought, we need a recording of this for you guys to listen to. And we thought, you know, we could just license a recording or, you know, some famous soprano or doing it or whatever. But then we thought, hmm, you know, that's really unadventurous. That's not really in the spirit of what we're trying to do here. Why don't we have a go at recording it for ourselves? Okay, so let's have a listen to the aria. I'm here with Morgana Warren-Jones, amazing mezzo-soprano, recently graduated from Leeds with... First with the first way, way. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's surprised. We've actually known each other for quite a long time, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, from choir. From for choir, years, yeah, yeah. We've been in choir for years. Yeah. Morgana because she's good, and me because I'm a man, and men are quite hard to get hold of in choirs. Um, so yeah, yeah. So it's not <laughs> you wouldn't want to hear me. So. Um, so tell us a bit about yourself. Kind of what have you done? Sort of ambitions. Where are you going next? What's the yeah. So I started off studying piano and cello and then went on to do a bit more singing. I mm -hmm. uh, went to Leeds and did a year abroad at the Conservatoire in Strasbourg, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just graduated and plan is to go on to Conservatoire mm -hmm. postgraduate and hopefully be an opera singer. Be an opera singer. You've, already, the plan. you've already been in operas, haven't you? Yeah, I've done it. I've been in a few. Done been a few in a operas, few. <laughs> done a few operas, naturally. Okay, so from a singer's point of view, tell us about Ombre My Few. What's it like? Um, it's a really popular one. Mm -hmm. Um, looks simple, but it's not, it's not. so easy. Yeah. No, um, it has a lot of long legato lines mm -hmm. um, and a lot of soft legato lines. Mm -hmm. Um, so it takes a lot of Effort. It's all about the As abdominals. Yeah, 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 yeah. All about yeah. your abs when you're a singer. Yeah. Morgan has got this massive six pack. <laughs> um, the I'll cut that. Don't worry. <laughs> Won't put that in the video. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean the piano parts a bit the same mm. actually. Mm. I mean I'm not a great classical pianist, and it, but it looks quite simple. But it's like oh, you know, get the intonation right, and it's you know because it's one of those where everything kind of has to come together, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Kind of very exposed. Together. Yeah. Very exposed. Yeah. Mm. Let's have a go at it. Let's have a go. Let's see how it sounds.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed listening to that. Now, the way we're going to play it is that Jonathan is going to post a video about improvising on Ombre My Fu, and then I am, and then Jonathan's going to post another one, and then I'm going to post another one, and we're going to kind of take it in turns until we've may maybe done three or four each. Jonathan is mainly going to cover kind of classical styles, yeah, on his channel, uh, which are really interesting and incredibly useful, by the way, even if you yourself are mainly just interested in pop or jazz or blues or whatever, because, you know, there is a ton of stuff to learn there. I'm going to cover those more contemporary styles that I usually cover on the channel. Now, Jonathan has already posted his first video. It's simultaneous, simultaneous with this one. So what you need to do right now is get yourself over to Jonathan's channel. I'll include a link in the description underneath uh, this video and also in a YouTube card in the top right hand corner. And listen to what he's done, yeah? Don't forget to subscribe both to his channel and to mine so you don't miss an update. And we'll also be putting the whole thing in a playlist. I'm gonna continue posting my, my kind of usual piano tutorials as normal, but I'll be back with my next updates in the Handle Improv uh, series in the next few days, okay? I hope you enjoy it as much as we're enjoying it. I'll see you soon.